U.S. Naturalization Test. How do we remember 100 civics questions faster and more accurately? For the Citizenship Civics Test. If you plan to become a U.S. citizen and you have already submitted the N-400 form, you may be studying the USCIS Civics Test, 100 Questions and Answers. These test questions are not very difficult, and if we sort them out, they will be easier to remember. The USCIS civics test usually has multiple correct answers, but during the test, you only need to say one of them. In these slides, I have listed the simplest answer. You can choose another answer that you like. I divided them into four parts by chronological order, government management, constitution and civil rights, and general knowledge. First, we have it in chronological order. American Indians lived in America before the Europeans arrived. There are many American Indian tribes in the United States. Cherokee is one of them. One reason colonists came to America is freedom. Africans were taken to America and sold as slaves. Colonists lived in the east of the United States. There were 13 original states. We have to remember three of them. Example, New York, Virginia, Georgia. Because of high taxes, the colonists fought the British. George Washington led this fight. He became the first president. He is the father of our country. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. It announced our independence from Great Britain. The Declaration of Independence was adopted on July 4, 1776. So, July 4th is our Independence Day. Life and liberty are two rights in the Declaration of Independence. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. James Madison was one of the writers. At the Constitutional Convention, the Constitution was written. The Constitution was written in 1787. Benjamin Franklin is famous for many things, such as starting the first free libraries. In the 1800s. In the 1800s, there were some wars. The Civil War was one war fought by the United States. The Civil War is the name of the United States. United States War between the North and the South. Slavery was one problem that led to the Civil War. Abraham Lincoln was the president during the Civil War. He freed the slaves and announced the Emancipation Proclamation. In 1803, the United States bought the Louisiana Territory from France. Susan B. Anthony fought for women's rights. In the 1900s, there were some major wars. World War I is one of them. Woodrow Wilson was president during World War I. Franklin Roosevelt was president during the Great Depression and World War II. The United States fought Japan, Germany, and Italy in World War II. Before he was president, Eisenhower was the general in World War II. During the Cold War, communism was the main concern of the United States. Martin Luther King Jr. fought for civil rights. The civil rights movement tried to end racial discrimination. In the 2000s, Terrorists attacked the United States on September 11, 2001. 2. Government Management 
checks and balances stop one branch of government from becoming too powerful. The three branches of government are 1. Legislative, 2. Executive, and 3. Judicial. I will describe these three parts one by one. Legislative. The Congress belongs to the legislative branch. Congress makes federal laws. The two major political parties in the United States are Democratic and Republican. The two parts of the U.S. Congress are the Senate and House of Representatives. Congress, Senate. There are 100 U.S. Senators. We elect a U.S. Senator for six years. A U.S. Senator represents all people of the state. Congress, House of Representatives. The House of Representatives has 435 voting members. We elect a U.S. Representative for two years. Some states have more representatives than other states because they have more people. Nancy Pelosi is the Speaker of the House of Representatives. 2. The Executive Branch President The President is in charge of the Executive Branch. The President is the Commander-in-Chief of the military, signs bills to become laws, and vetoes bills. We elect a president for four years. We vote for president in November. Joe Biden is the president of the United States now. Democratic is the political party of the president now. Kamala Harris is the vice president of the United States now. If the president can no longer serve, the vice president becomes president. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, the Speaker of the House becomes president. The president's cabinet advises the president. There are many cabinet level positions. Remember these two. Secretary of Labor, Vice President. The economic system in the United States is capitalist economy. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. The power to print money is one power of the federal government. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. Giving a driver's license is one power of the states. Judicial The judicial branch reviews laws. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the United States. There are nine justices on the Supreme Court. John Roberts is the Chief Justice of the United States now. 3. Constitution, Civil Rights The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. The Constitution sets up the government. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. These words are, We the people. The Constitution has 27 amendments. An amendment is a change to the Constitution. There are many rights and freedoms from the First Amendment. Speech is one of them. We call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution the Bill of Rights. The rule of law means that everyone must follow the law. Two rights of everyone living in the United States are freedom of speech and freedom of religion. Freedom of religion means that you can practice any religion or not practice a religion. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. One of them says that citizens 18 and older can vote. Citizens 18 and older have the right to vote for president. Voting in a federal election is a responsibility and a right that is only for United States citizens. There are many ways that Americans can participate in their democracy. Remember two. Voting. Running for office.
April 15th is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms. All men must register for the selective service between 18 and 26. We show loyalty to the United States when we say the Pledge of Allegiance. When you become a United States citizen, one promise you make is to obey the laws of the United States. 4. General Knowledge one of the two longest rivers in the United States is the Mississippi. Mexico is to the south of the United States. New Mexico State is one state that borders Mexico. Canada is to the north of the United States. New York State is one state that borders Canada. The Atlantic Ocean is on the east coast of the United States. The Pacific Ocean is on the west coast of the United States. Guam is one U.S. territory. Washington, D.C. is the capital of the United States. The Statue of Liberty is in New York Harbor. The Star-Spangled Banner is the name of the national anthem. The flag has 50 stars because there are 50 states. The flag has 13 stripes because there were 13 original colonies. Thanksgiving and Christmas are two national U.S. holidays. Finally, please go online to find your state capital, governor, senator, and congressman. After watching this video, the next time you go to memorize the USCIS Civics Test 100 questions, you should feel more organized and be able to remember them faster. Thank you and good luck.